Hi guys, welcome to this new video and today I'll showing you how to get a fast lap at the deep forest with the Nissan Sylvia GT4. I have to say that getting a time like that is really difficult, even so you have a GT4 with soft tires. It seems like a simple track, but if you want to go fast, you need to hard work and that's why today I'll showing you with my fastest lap, how to get a similar one. We start with a straightway that opens the door to a U-band. The braking point is precisely 100 meters from the next band. Brake as hard as you can when you reach it. And as you approach, gradually release to the brake for a smoother transition. After passing 100 meters, gently move towards the curb. And when you're close, release the brake and downshift into the first gear. At this point, make an immediate turn at 50 meters to achieve an excellent entrance. Stay close to the curb, go past this scene and swerve sharply towards to the next curve. This can be a tricky point, so Briefly lift of the throttle and resume as you reach the halfway across the curb. Okay, here, brake hard just before the grey marker. Now, downshift is off the gas and brake at the start of the curb. Give it gas and release everything as you pass in the middle of the curb. Then, apply full throttle for the next curve. So here, brake hard, gently release the brake and the apex point here is a bit tricky. But I use the beginning of the shadow from the tree as a reference point. Here accelerate to the maximum, just as I did. Here utilize the green zone without letting your right wheels to the cross line or you will incur a penalty. As you reach this point and apply the brakes, downshift halfway, throw the curb and get back on the gas at the first billboard. So on this section of the bridge, brake car in the middle of the bridge, turn at the end of the curb, shift in the third gear before exiting and apply the gas simultaneously for a brilliant and clean exit. As you approach the final curves, break exactly at 100 meters and as you reach 50 meters, gently steer towards the inside of the curve. So, near the hand of the curve, Accelerate as much as you possible without excessive steering input or you lose speed along the way. So now we're closing this lap with the last curve. So stay close together here to minimize the distance traveled and do the same thing here. And we're closing this fantastic lap in one minute, 31.703 seconds oh my goodness this is a fantastic lap that i want to celebrate this lap with you and that's why i shared it with you i hope this lap guide has been helpful for you leave a like and subscribe to my channel so i can upload more videos okay goodbye and see you soon to another video bye bye